is going on you guys? My name is Rage and we are back today with another Doom War Chapter 4 video guide and playthrough for you all. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be going through the next three notes using mystic non-minion characters involved here. And this is going to give us a lot of powerful room here, but I want to showcase for you guys a team that doesn't actually require Dr. Doom or as well as the meta and being the legendaries. So that being said, it's going to mainly involve the new warriors. And as well, uh, we'll dive into the gear as well as the playthrough. So starting off here, just to show you guys the four, uh, it is going to be death pool as noted by the new warriors here. And you can see I got T Force and Bolt for basic and her special. I don't have the other abilities leveled up just because I am preserving my T4 materials. But I found this good enough upgrade was ready to go here for the her to be used in these nodes and as well um she's built up the way she is just because i'm currently using her in the end game for the doom 2.0 raids so i would encourage you guys to bring her up if you have her available synergizing with death pool it's going to be high damage output and it's self-sustaining in being silver surfer here Low upgrades on everything as you can see with his t4 and as well i'm also currently using him in the doom 2 raids so that is why he's built up the way he is he was also part of my og um dark dimension 4 team that pushed me through it for the first time Synergizing with Death Pool now, the new Warriors is going to be Dagger. As you can see, um, not too many upgrades here. No T4s and only Tier 12 with the level 1 uh, ISO 8 there. So that's what I mean by the fact that we don't need these new Warriors high up. It's going to be really Death Pool and Silver Surfer carrying a bulk of the load here. And lastly, it is going to be Cloak here. And similar to Dagger, you can see not too many upgrades. The level 1 ISO 8 as well. And you can see only tier 12. So um, you don't need these guys built up too high just to synergize with each other. And that's what's extremely nice about these nodes. So those are the four that I'm currently using. Let's dive right into the gameplay. As you can see, total team power being 350k. And it'll be similar to my first video here. So starting off, it is going to be a little interesting in the sense that we are up against actually parts of a Secret Avengers mixture. We have the Weapon X and as well Doctor Doom. So it can be, it can look quite heavy in the very initial wave. Uh, hopefully, they're not able to target our weaker guys being Cloak and Dagger, as you can see. But um, once we get a turn, it's going to be a lot better once we actually take down those minions and they allow us the opportunity to actually heal up and get those passive attacks in. So recommending, first of all, um, you know, starting off, I would actually focus on uh, the high damage dealers being Sour Samurai uh, just because uh, the Weapon X can do a lot of team damage later on. And especially with Omega Red being also in this node. So we have to be very mindful of that. I want to take advantage now as well with uh, Cloak's here abilities. By applying his ultimate, we can see that we're taking that chance to see if we can potentially apply blind, but as well as negative conditions such as offense down, defense down, so forth. Perfect. And now you can see we're set up in a pretty good manner here. Unfortunately, once Captain Sam taunts, we really can't do too much about it, but uh, you can try to use the Cloak and Dagger abilities to see if you can strip away the positives. That's what they're known for. Again, we activate now Dagger's ultimate and it actually takes down quite a few of them. So even despite those two being under level, they still do a lot of damage for uh, these higher level nodes, which is really good to know. And finally, the passive attacks do take down Captain Sam, which spawns the second half of the wave now being Omega Red. They got another Red Guardian here, they Wolverine as well as uh, Sabretooth and Invisible Woman. So unfortunately, we don't really have a choice in the matter when Red Guardian uses his taunt, but that's why we're going to try to strip it away from him using Silver Surfer. And with the ability block, that's always much appreciated. We want to aim for the higher damage Weapon X guys now, because um, if you let them stay along too long, you can see we already have trauma being inflicted on Dagger. We really want to focus them. As noted earlier, the sooner we actually start taking down some of them, the passive attacks will come from Death Pool, as you can see, and it really does just form a chain reaction there so um, now we only have four enemies left i would leave invisible woman for last just because she doesn't do any damage whatsoever Sabretooth and death strike would be the focus here so you can see uh, honestly whoever's weaker when you start attacking here right so i saw that Sabretooth was lower so we go ahead and actually finish him off ideally now if we can finish off death strike then we'll also be able to actually um, focus on invisible woman afterwards so with the stealth activated we don't really have a choice but fortunately the passive attacks do take her down and now we can actually focus on mega red and you can see, even though he's not um, fully leveled against us, we have a stronger Death Pool and uh, Silver Surfer. You can see how powerful Mega Red really is. And this isn't even in a war setting. So uh, it just gives us a sense of the, the potential of the Weapon X team for sure. Now we go ahead, ideally with the, ice, uh, the vulnerability, finishing him off, and then Death Pool passes strike. So there you guys have it. Another unlock here with the three stars using this uh, four player team uh, being the new Warriors combined with uh, Silver Surfer. Thank you as always, you guys. Do appreciate you checking my videos. Hope this provides insights. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.